Hi everybody, we're done our, from the previous video, we've created our cable tray profiles. You go back to the previous video and we can see how to do that. We just took and edited these. So what I have here, I inserted these elements into this view. And this is a plan view up here. So the, how you do a run here, I'm gonna see if we can run through this pretty quickly. You want to go into the Systems tab and go into Cable Tray. And then we'll select um, the, a ladder cable tray. And let's just place one right here. And this average is, I think they like about 12 feet. So we got one there at 12 feet. And then I want to copy this guy here. No, first thing we want to just want to select it. And we want to edit the type and get us a name. So to do that, we want to just take duplicate and let's call this, um, let's go into cap locks, let's go to USP aluminum, oh, sorry about that. Table, ladder, and then at the end, let's say part number. And we'll say OK. So now that's in our model. We'll say OK again. So what we want to do now here is let's go and place another, or let's copy this one over. We can copy this guy. And let's duplicate him. We'll edit type again. And we'll duplicate this guy. And yes, we could call it part number two. Part, part number two. Okay. And then we'll say okay. And then we can change this size. So these are six. So let's make this a six inch. So this is the six inch cable tray here. And let's make the, the height. Okay, that's good. And okay, we'll just leave it at that for now. And so what you do to this is basically, um, we wanna select this cable tray and we wanna edit the type and then go, and once we're here, we can look at the fittings. So we can go and grab these fittings that we just placed. So for this six, I want to select that one for the T. Let's see, I got my horizontal T in there. We'll select that one. And I think we got an outside vertical. Yes, and we'll take that one right there. Uh, let's also, also select the cross. So where's our cross? There it is. So we'll select it, apply, and OK. So now once we've done that, all you got to do is basically just go into your cable tray command and select the cable tray that we are using. And it was this was number two. So we'll pick number two and just run it. So there's our run there. Probably should have this on the bigger screen so you all can see, but if you can't. And then I want to make a 90 degree turn here. Oh, there's one again. Okay, sorry about that. And now I want to make, now as you can see, that fitting is in there that we created. That's pretty much all we can do with the uh, system family. We can't do the fittings. So now if I decided I wanted to do a T, I would take that same cable tray. And I want to do a T right here. And there's my T fitting, as you can see. And now let's go out and just drag this guy a little longer here. 
And let's do a cross through this guy. You see that little line in the middle there and it pops up and there you go. So now we've got our layout here. A little crooked in this view. I might just rotate this around a bit if I can. I want to show you how the vertical would go in. Oh, well. Well, I'll do it this way. Let's do it in this view. So we'll draw the cable tray. So what happens is you can do all the fittings and the reducers and place them in the model. So I'm going to do a section view this way here. I'm going to flip this guy. Now let's go into this view. Okay. What happened there? I'm sorry, it's the level, I'm up too low. There you go. So now, when I'm in this view, for my verticals, you just select the cable tray, right click, draw cable tray, and then add your cable tray. And there's our fitting that we created. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I'm busy working on this. I'm, the best way to do this is just put all of your cable trays in and and go from there but okay quickly I want to show you this as well now the schedule is you'll just go into your view select schedules schedule quantities and here we'll go down to cable tray runs let's go to cable tray fittings now and we'll add uh, let's see Let's go to family. Uh, we can go to type. We can go to size. And just about anything you want, manufacturer, uh, anything important that's the count is important. And then as we, we got videos for this, you can adjust these this way and then say OK. And there's our schedule for our cable tray. And there's our, our part numbers and the size and manufacture for that. Okay, now let's do uh, a fitting schedule. I mean, a run schedule to, to select the run. So we'll go back into the um, view schedules and quantities. And let's select cable tray runs. Select OK. And the same here, you do a count. And let's go with family. Uh, height is good. Uh, length is very important. Uh, width or whatever you want, or we can make some shared parameters for that and go OK. OK, nothing's there. Let me see. Let's go back here. I might just leave it there, folks. Uh, let's go view. Let me see what happened there. View schedules, quantities. No, I can do this. Let's just go over here into our project browser and let's have a quick look and see what's going on here. I may leave this to one of my new subscribers since I got a lot of a lot of new ones and I'm really happy about that. Thanks for supporting my channel. I think this is like almost 300 uh, videos. Okay, there's that schedule. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, cable tray runs. Da -da 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 -da. Let's look at sorting and grouping. Let's go by family. Okay. Okay, well, I'll figure that out later. I'm gonna leave it there because I'm gonna make this short and sweet. But hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. And uh, yeah, this is how you do this. So you'll make your, you, you'll, you do your profile. And another quick note here is if you select this, you can still change these these properties on this guy, like up here, the width is 12. I can change this to say down to the six. And it'll also add reducers. Same with all of these. So hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, 
didn't go anywhere, just been busy at work doing stuff like this. So talk to you again soon and have a good one. Anybody have any comments or suggestions or a better way to do this, please leave it down below in the comment section. Bye.